now we are going to see about five artifacts use cases. So what are artifacts? When you give a task to the large language model to visualize, it automatically creates a preview window on the right hand side. That is artifacts. I created this visual representation in under one minute. Considering I uploaded this PDF file which contains loads of data and gave that to AI and asked it to create a visual dashboard to understand the data and it automatically created this dashboard visually for me. That is the power of artifacts. You are able to visually see what AI generates. And I'm going to create artifacts using chat LLM for Teams. And you are able to access all the top models just for $10. Click the link in the description to sign in. So once after you sign in, you will have an interface like this. So now we are going to upload this data sheet about Apple and ask AI to create a dashboard for us to see visually. So clicking the upload from computer icon, just upload the financial PDF document. You can also upload other DOCX or Excel file. After that, providing this prompt, create an in-depth analysis and summary with stock recommendations by carefully reviewing the Apple Q2 earnings report that we have uploaded. Furthermore, develop a detailed and visually engaging React dashboard that offers interactive features. After this, clicking send, and now this will process the document, automatically upload, analyze the data within the document as you can see here, it's giving me a summary, and now it's creating me the dashboard in React code. Also, you'll be able to see the visual representation on the right hand side, as you can see here. The overview, the revenue breakdown between products and services, segmenting revenue from different location, and from which product the revenue comes from. Similarly, even if you have your own data, you can just upload it here and ask it to visualize. Using this, you are able to easily understand any complex data. There's one more advantage is that you are able to use multiple large language models. So just now we used Cloud Sonnet. We can also use GPT-40 or Llama 3. Now I'm going to use GPT-40 and going to say, try again. Now this is going to use the same PDF analyze the data and use GPT-4 to create this interactive dashboard. As you can see here, the new React dashboard is getting created and here is the dashboard on the right hand side. You can also see the code here and you can modify this based on your requirement. I have partnered with Abacus AI to create this video. So we'll be covering how to prototype a game, how to create PowerPoint slides from that artifacts, how to create basic animation and how to create web elements such as React Web Element. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first use case we saw about the interactive dashboards and data visualization. Now we are going to see about game development. We can create simple, simple games for quick ideas and get started with game development. So this is the prompt which I'm going to give create a simple Tetris game where users can play directly in the browser. Also, I'm adding create in React, all in one files, show as artifacts and clicking send. Now you can see the game is getting created and here is the game ready. So I can just click start game and you can see it's coming down and I can even use my mouse to move this. This is amazing. In this way, you can prototype any game or just the basic idea very quickly, just within a minute. If I copy the same prompt and paste that in chat GPT, it give you the code, but it doesn't give you the artifacts. But if you want artifacts for GPT-40, you can use that through chat LLM, as you can see here. Next, we're going to see how you can create a presentation or a PowerPoint slide quickly from any document that is content and document transformation. So the prompt which I'm going to give is convert a given PDF document into a series of animated slides that summarize the key points of the document. So coming to chat LLM, I'm uploading a file that is a research article, the AI scientist. It's a large research article. I'm going to ask, give me key points from this article. Now it's analyzing the document and it's giving me the key points. Now I'm asking it to create into a animated slides, creating in React and click next. And here are the key points represented in a format of a slide. You can even ask it to modify this further. Next, let's see about creating art and animation. Asking it to generate an 8-bit style animation of a character walking across the screen. The animation should loop seamlessly include basic controls to start, stop and change the walking speed. 
So just going to use this prompt and asking chat LLM. And here is the output. You can start, stop the animation and you can even change the speed. Next, creating web components. So I'm going to ask, create a dynamic search bar with auto-complete functionality that suggests items from a predefined list as the user's type. So this is an example, but in your case, it could be your own component, which you want to develop or implement in a web page. So based on that, you can modify this prompt and ask chat LLM. And here is the auto-complete search bar feature, which I can use to search for a fruit. As you can see here, it auto-completes for me and I can even choose and to implement this in your own website, our own code, just click on the code and you should be able to copy the code from here and apply it on your website. As simple as that. Now you are able to create interactive dashboards, prototype games quickly, create PowerPoint presentations, create animations, and also create interactive web components to integrate with your application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.